bismillah uh, rahman rahim uh, in this session we will discuss uh, exercise 9.2 from the topic of trigonometry uh, from the course of additional mathematics for igcse and o level students uh, in this uh, uh, session we will discuss the general definition of angles and uh, uh, actually uh, uh, we draw the drawings uh, of a quadrant showing the quadrant so there are four quadrants and uh, these angles will uh, be represented in any one of the quadrants so let's start this question number one draw a diagram showing the quadrant in which the rotating lines op lies for each of the following angles in each questions indicate clearly the direction of rotation and find the acute angle that the line op makes with the x-axis so uh, we have to draw these uh, angles on the uh, uh, on uh, the quadrants so let's start with question number uh, one so we, there are four quadrants one two three and four so this is anti-clockwise is always considered positive well, the clockwise is considered negative so we have 110 so we will move from here to here 110 degree so this is 110 and then remaining is 70 so here we have 180 so 180 minus 110 is 70 degree so this is acute angle from this side in quadrant 2 so this is minus 60 degree so minus 60 degree is on the clockwise direction so this is minus 60 degree and this makes angle with x axis is 60 degree so angle is 60 degree and the rotation because the rotation is uh, clockwise so this is minus 60 this is 220 so we will move from here to 220 there we have 180 and then from 220 minus 180 is 40 degree so this is 40 degree minus 135 degree so here we have moved from here to here and this line is op and this is 135 in the uh, clockwise direction and from 180 minus 135 is this 45 degree this is acute angle uh, minus 300 so we'll move from here to here minus 300 degree and this is 360 minus 300 is basically 60 degree so this is 60 degree acute angle from the x-axis for f we have this pi by 4 so <coughs> so sorry 3 pi by 4 so 3 pi by 4 we move from here to here here we have a pi from here to here pi from pi minus 3 pi by 4 we have this pi by 4 similarly for this one from pi 7 pi by 6 minus pi is pi by 6 similarly for this one and that one this uh, question number uh, second quadrant so let's start to see the question first here we have the state the quadrant when the angle op makes with the positive axis so this is second quadrant this is uh, fourth quadrant because 270 this is more than two foot, uh, 270 so this is fourth quadrant this is minus 60 this is third quadrant because it's clockwise rotation so we can see this in Here we have 110, this is second quarter. This is uh, 300, this is fourth quarter. In C part, this is minus 60, third quarter. Here we have 245, third quarter. Here we have uh, in the E part, is more than 360. In the E part, minus 500. So, in E part, ma, minus 500, in E part, so question 2, and E part, this is 500, so we will move from minus 500, so it by clockwise, this is 360, and 360 and 90 is uh, four, uh, for 450, and then 50 degrees, so this is here. Here we start from here to here is 360 degree 
the 90 degree is uh, 450 degree and after 450 degree this is minus 50 so this is 50 degree and so here it comes to the third quadrant quadrant 1 2 3 and 4 in is this part this is 11 pi by 6 so this is uh, 2 pi minus this one is this so this one is basically uh, pi by 6 if we add pi by 6 in with this one then it becomes 2 pi similarly the other one so easy uh, in the next session we will discuss exercise 9.1